Hi everyone, Rich Davinio here. I'm going to show you in this short video how to set up Sky Safari. Uh, this version I am running on my iPhone. Uh, if you have an iPad, it will also run on that plus other devices. Note it does not run on Windows PCs at this time. So click on the icon to start. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at the various commands. You see in the bottom there are several commands. You can scroll over to see additional ones. You'll see the main field of view here, which of course you can pinch to expand. You could also use these plus buttons or minus buttons to zoom in as well. We'll go into a lot more details on that on other videos. The first thing you're going to want to do when you fire this up is go and set a couple configuration settings. So you get to that through settings. The first thing you want to do is go to your location. I would suggest just take the default here. This is your current location, um, likely home or another place that you typically observe more often. You'll note that there is options here where you can select other locations uh, either from a list or for a map and then once you're done you can save those as well. So once you've set your location then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set up your equipment. So to do that Go to the Observe command, click on Equipment. You'll see that this is already populated with all of my various scopes and, and eyepieces. To add your scope, just click Add Telescope. It knows about a lot of manufacturers. So for example, if I was to put in Obsession, it'll come up with the various uh, Obsession as well. So go ahead and experiment uh, with your particular scope. It's likely going to be in that list. If not, you could always hit create custom scope and you'll want the aperture and focal length. So once you've done scopes, um, you're going to want to go down and also click on eyepieces. So here's the eyepieces. You can go ahead and click on that. And again, you can, it knows about various manufacturers. So type in ethos, for example, and it should come up with a list of various ethos eyepieces as, as well. And if you have other equipment like um, finder scopes, you can go ahead and click on that. And again, find your particular finder. Get those all set up. And once you've done that, we'll, uh, we'll be ready to start observing. And we'll talk about that in the, in the next video.